unboxing of Raging Spoons Complex Bass System from smalljoes.com. So um, let's let's crack it open. My glamorous assistant <laughs> will. Uh, and I, I won't say much more than that because she's got a knife. <laughs> Good call. That ain't a knife. <laughs> That's not a knife, it's a spoon. Well, we, yeah, we've done it before. It's a raging spoon. <laughs> I didn't write that beforehand, if anyone's seen Jesse. Okay, so box priority mail has been opened. And it's mainly peanuts. <laughs> okay. all we ordered. So we got like a pretty intense set, and we've got the building set. Uh, series one floor urban two times floor four times connectors. Uh, we've got a few of those. I can't wait to actually get all this out and uh, and really start building some awesome stuff with it, which we will show um, the aftermath um, later after this. Actual that one, oh, walls. Walls. Oh yes, yeah, so we've got walls and floors, which is awesome. And to get all of the packing wigs all out the way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, it's gonna be like one of those, like, uh, I don't know, like, dangerous games where you put your hand in there and hopefully you don't get bitten by some sort of snake. More walls. Uh, more walls. My god, how many things did I actually get? This is so awesome. I, I hope if you did order this, um, this, this set, this builder set, then my god, you've got, you've got loads here. This is unbelievable. My uh, first floor. show, right? No. <laughs> this is this is gonna be this is gonna be Autobot City right here. I'm painting this orange. It's gonna be Encroyable. More walls. Again, it's all the same stuff, but look at how many oh, they just fell over. I piled them up to my left and they've all collapsed. I doubt that'll happen to the actual uh, walls and floors though. I mean these are gorgeous, aren't they? Just flip it round to show you the back too. Create a complex and simple or elaborate as you want. The complex system is completely modular and works with multiple scales and toy lines. The only limit is your imagination. Well, if that's the case, then that's a pretty low limit for me. <laughs> uh, two times floor panels, four times connectors, two-sided connector, four-sided connector, three-sided connector, and an L connector. So lots of cool stuff in just one set here. Rage and Spoon Toys products comply with ASTM F936, if you were wondering. Colours and styles may vary. From renders, age 17 plus, made in China. It's awesome. And finally, uh, oh, you put them in order for me, darling. That's very, very awesome of you. That's very awesome of you, because now we can show... I have to organise Because now we can show you all of the awesome things that you get. So how many boxes is that for each? We've got one, two, three, eight. four, five, six, seven, eight of each. Wowzers. That is really, really cool and impressive and, and actually like price-wise as well. I can't remember how much it was actually. It was like 300, 200 and something dollars. I think it was like 280, but I don't know where I'm pulling that number out. It was, it was a, yeah, around that, that yeah. I think. But my word, you get a lot of stuff, so. Let's start building with these, yeah? Woohoo! Okay, we're also gonna open each one of these, well, not every single one, for now, but uh, my lovely assistant. Uh, and there you go, this is what you get it's in the, the wall. So actually, so we take that plastic off. Just about to show you what's in each one. Now these pop out if I remember. Yeah, like that little top panel pops out like so. That's really neat. Yeah. And then the bottom part comes out too, doesn't it? It's like a little doorway. Yeah. And there's the peg. The peg for, for the, the guns. What was it? It was a specific G.I. Joe. Was it modern? I think most of the Pursuit of Cobra weapons and, the, and, and things that kind of plug into the vehicles, um, which is awesome. There are also um, points on on here where you can kind of fit certain things like, I think like backpacks and, and all sorts of stuff, pegs and stuff. But yeah, really neat. And on the inside you've got like a doorway, which is, I love that side actually. That's really detailed. This one as well has got loads of like cool details on it. Yeah, loving that. These rails. Okay. What's this part for? That, uh, I believe, I do know what that is. And is it? it's it's like a doorway um, floor step. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I think. So go on. I think so. I may be wrong, but anywho, 
That's what you get in a... Oh, in is a, it a... No. <laughs> that's what you get in a set. I'll figure it out. <laughs> of... This is the walls in the end. So we get in a, set, in a wall set. Um, one wall, two panels, one step... Step connector, Connector yeah. and one end connector. So, yeah, cool. And now looking in the next box, we have the floor. Break that open. And, okay, so you've got that kind of like neat kind of concrete effect on one side and then you've got the industrial effect on the other, like the metal flooring, which is really, really cool. I'm definitely going to use that metal flooring for things like NECA alien figures and so on and so forth. So you get two, two of them, which is nice. Tons of the uh, connectors again as well. So I think in a, what is it, four connectors, two-sided, four-sided, three-sided and an L connector. So that's also really cool. Man, we're going to have so many with all of these. Um, I just don't know where these figure into the... Uh... <laughs> I don't really know. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's looking inside one of the of, the, of each of the boxes. Um, and next up, I suppose, is, is building something crazy out of it, which I'm going to do next. Woohoo! <laughs> So here is the complex base building system by Rage and Spoon. Um, we've thrown this together in probably about an hour or so, um, just kind of like, you know, after messing around in lots of different kind of sections and stuff. And we've come up with something I think that's pretty cool with one building kit. So you get um, like the eight uh, sets, basically, of the floors and the walls. And I mean, they're amazing. They really are awesome for that set. And look at the kind of, I mean, we have managed to get a Robo Skull in this dio on these four floor panels over here. And as you can see the figures, you know, like they, they, they've got a lot of space on say one floor width and wall width. So there's a lot kind of, you know, you can get a lot in there really. Uh, the Baron enjoying, just overseeing, not enjoying, overseeing what's going on with the Robo Skull. Red Wolf's back after a mission. Raging Spoon is just checked. Raging Spoon Skeletron, I should say, is just checking that the uh, that the Ro Robo Skull is okay with his uh, his little like notepad. Um, there's the Kraken having a poop. He's just finished pooping and he's coming back <laughs> from the toilet. Um, and yeah, you can as you can see, like it's just yeah, it's amazing what you can do with this with this building system, and you can kind of have fun with it and do some like different kind of things now. Uh, a couple of those, like obviously different levels, is uh, is one of those things, and, and like whole vehicles, like this this sexy Red Shadows custom vamp, which is pretty neat. I mean, that can go in there almost like a garage, you know, comfortable amount of space for that. And a little Dave Shorter at bar, even just around the corner. Uh, and and also what I really like is you can make like these little windows by popping those segments out, and it kind of looks like a kind of like a spaceship hallway. Uh, and there's uh, Red Shadow's Flint at the back there, just, I don't know, just doing naughty things. Um, <laughs> and yeah, it's just a really, really cool system. Now, load of things to kind of consider with this. Um, or you get load, I mean, this is all of the floors and all of the walls being utilized in that set. You can, you also get tons and tons of connectors. We haven't used every single connector. Uh, there's a, still quite a lot um, left over. Um, and you kind of, you do have to get a little bit, like, you know, use your initiative a little bit with some of the, the, the kind of connecting parts. They, these ones are obviously the one, um, one connector that literally just finish off the corners, um, like so, as you can see, just kind of finishes off, it gives it a nice edge, same on that side. Um, and sometimes I've used those on the floor, like down here. This is probably going to knock everything over, but if I move it gently, you'll see that they're not technically connected there. You can see that. And that's just really um, me using those one-sided connectors, because I ran out of the two-sided ones. So I think getting connectors is going to be the next thing that you know I think people are going to want with these. They're going to want more of those connectors to make more cooler buildings and, and stuff like that. And here, I mean, you can use the, the floor pieces as ceilings, um, you know, as floors, as walls as well, as you can see here. And here as well, you, you can also cheat a little bit, as I did. Um, and that isn't actually connected to anything. 
uh, at all. So, you know, you can even just leave it like a carpool open like that. And look, it's sturdy as hell. Like these things, I didn't need it for support. Like it doesn't wobble, it's solid as a rock. But I kind of just put it in there as an aesthetic thing, really. Uh, just kind of slide it in there. But again, you could, you could put it here. Uh, again, and it's aesthetic. But you know, all of a sudden you've got a completely different vibe again, you know, vibe. So it's, I don't know, I just find this thing really cool. Um, the set, I mean, the set just on its own is just amazing. That, that builder set is enough to get something really cool out of. And we've made a blooming Red Shadows space base uh, on my space background, which is really cool. A um, couple of other things, obviously, uh, when, when we don't, we're only showing you the industrial side of it so if I flip it round you can see the other kind of gorgeous side of the um, uh, of the walls and they look, look amazing like that I mean I, I really want to kind of make something with that side on show as well because I just think it looks really gorgeous and again with the industrial floor panels I think it'll look really nice with that as well but you do have on the other side of the floor panel the kind of nice concrete effect um, which again, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna set up and, and make uh, like another base because we don't have another spare hour or so to do that at the moment. But again, it, it's just awesome. And like something I should kind of point out, it's not easy to throw this up. It's really like a, a bit of work has to go into a bit of elbow grease. They're sturdy, but be careful with them. I didn't break anything necessarily, but um, there were moments when I thought, oh, that's gonna snap. So you're just gonna have to, you know, just, just kind of just ease those things in. Now, uh, something to help with that um, is this. Graphite lubricant, Victor powered, keeps all locks working freely. Now, this was kind of quite important for us, wasn't it? Because yeah. we had one that was just really stubborn, one connector. Um, so we grabbed, we put some of that in, like we slid it out. So, you know, it wasn't obviously gonna go in. So we took it out, used the, graphite lubricant and then it went in like a dream didn't it, it worked perfectly after that. perfect that was the only one we had issues with too so. so out of all of these sets or all of the connectors all of the walls all of the floors we only had an issue with one connector and it was just a bit stiff that was it so a little bit of lubri a little bit of graphite lubricant seemed to work perfectly so yeah keep that in mind um yeah it's just a beautiful beautiful set the detailing is unreal. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's great. There's so much going on on that wall. It's beautiful. And even like the, the kind of the mesh on the industrial flooring is really cool. As we said before, you know, the, the other sides of the walls and the floors are great too. Um, but I just love this for the Robo Skull and for the Red Shadows. I think it's really, really neat. So as you can see, you know, lots of fun to be had with these things. Uh, Raging Spoon, shout out to Raging Spoon and Nicole, you guys have done an incredible job with these. And we're gonna need more, right? Definitely. How many more sets do you think? <laughs> At least two more. At least 10 more, correct. <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, guys, get on it, smalljoes.com. And yeah, um, enjoy this. It's, it's a lot of fun. Uh, can't wait to get more of these and make Autobot City. Uh, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy our. I hope you enjoyed our little Dio explanation of this amazing set and the unboxing of them. It's really out of this world. No pun intended. Uh, go get them and make awesome Dios full force. Full force. Full force. <laughs>